What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So, before I start this video off, I uh, did get started in normal, typical Hidden Thames Garage fashion. Uh, as you can tell, I'm making a new thermostat housing for my Mustang. And uh, before I wasn't able to run a thermostat and I'm really, uh, it sucked because it would never heat up. Uh, it, the car would always run cool, but it was most of the time it was too cool. And uh, so I made this new thermostat housing. I gotta trim the inside of this a little bit more, and I think I'm gonna weld it up on the inside. But the outside turned turned out pretty good, I think. Um, <clears throat> but I'm getting ready. I don't want to move that, but this is gonna be just like a cap for the top of this because this should be by far the highest point in the motor. And I don't know. I kind of wanted to ask you guys. Uh, your opinion on this um, so that you know remote fill is going to be right here and all these lines are going to be going backwards but I don't know a good way to fill this so this is going to be I have a rear okay if you're new to the channel <laughs> I have a rear mount uh, radiator setup and uh, it's just got some dash 16 fittings on it I still have to run the hoses and stuff but I have a cap back here as well so I'm thinking what I'm going to do to fill it is basically uh, just open this, you know, take this cap off, start filling it from the top, maybe fill it from the back here also. It is on a slight angle, um, but basically just top them off both as much as I can. And, uh, you know, at that point I can start it, run it, get some heat into it, and... Uh, just keep filling it up here and just trying to burp the system that way. I don't know of a better way that I could do it. I don't know if some, you know, any of you guys have any ideas on how I could do that. Um, but also, I don't know if I should just plug this back here and just run my cooler or coolant reservoir. You know, I can make a small one or whatever and mount it like right here. And it would be real easy uh, to mount and everything else and to set that up. Or I could, you know, I can mount a coolant reservoir up here, or if I should plug that little nipple on the other one, keep this one here, and then run a coolant reservoir in the rear. Uh, I think I'm leaning towards that, but I don't want it to be uh, a pain in the ass to basically fill <laughs> with coolant. Um, but I guess while we're talking about it, I got all this shit painted. You guys, I haven't been filming a lot. I'm sorry. I've been just trying to get shit done. Uh, a lot of the times I'll be on a roll and I just will say screw it and not really film anything. But I got all this painted back here and I still got to mount something back here. I told you guys about a few weeks ago. Uh, so I'm kind of waiting to get uh, more material for that. Uh, but besides that, got all this painted, got the interior painted. I know in the other video I said it looked kind of pink. Uh, I ended up just throwing a bunch of really heavy coats on it. <laughs> and it turned out really deep, you know, canyon red to me. I mean, it looks almost spot on. Um, so, I painted this the other day. I was kind of letting it dry. I'm going to get my battery mounted and stuff. I'm going to kind of wait to mount this shit just because i got to uh, weld something down here and paint it still. Um, but as soon as this is done... I can put the radiator back in it. I might I might mount that reservoir back here uh, or up here even. I mean, that would be open. That would be kind of cool. Um, but, you know, I can, as soon as I'm done with this, I can get all this shit mounted and I can start plumbing the car. And that brings me to the other uh, question that you guys might have is wiring. And I made a wiring panel that I'm pretty happy with. I just didn't video it because... Uh, I was kind of in the zone. You're probably not going to be able to see that at all. I'm going to have to go get a light in another video and show you. But I got my switch panel, our relay board, all wired up. I got to run all my wires back behind it, kind of loop them up. ECU is going here. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it's not bolted in. Uh, and then I have another side panel. You probably can't hardly see it. There's like a side uh, piece over here. There's a side piece over there. Of course there is. Um... I'm going to mount my relay and fuses for the engine harness, and I think, I don't know what sensor that is, some atm atmospheric pressure 
bar, or I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm gonna mount all that shit on the side, ECU up here, and all those wires should curl up underneath it. And then after that, it's just plug and play. I gotta just, I'll get into that in another video, but I just wanted to show you guys. Got my seats back in. I'm gonna put my switch panel probably down here. And uh, I gotta make a couple of little things, but I like it. It's turning out really good. Uh, yeah, I just haven't been filming much because I've been trying to get shit done. And uh, I haven't forgot about you guys. This is my one long tube that I made. It turned out pretty badass. I like it a lot. Um, I still, I think I'm gonna paint it silver. Here's that little thing, that little doohickey thing. Uh, I don't know what that, that center, whatever scavenger thing. <laughs> Um, sorry, I was not mentally prepared to film today. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what the heck I've been up to. But I'm going to get welded on this. And, uh, since this is going to be kind of a short little video, I'll probably show you guys some welds. Uh, this is actually turning out pretty good. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. And finish it. And then show you guys it on the car and uh go from there see what else is going on so i know i don't show you guys a lot of welding because most of the time when people watch me i fuck up so i uh i'll probably just throw this little next minute or two in unedited unless it's really bad then i'll just end up throwing shit and that'll be the end of the video so hopefully it doesn't do that but i'm gonna see what happens i gotta tack it up kind of eyeball test fit it uh, yeah, go from there. Not very good at tacking aluminum, but I always think it's hard to get the, the heat in right off the bat. But once it's in there, it's easy to keep running it. Yeah, that'll be alright. It's gonna be in camera or not. So I got that on there. And it's just gonna sit off like that. I kind of want it to be offset a little bit because what it's gonna do is this radiator hose, uh, everything's gonna end up running kind of this angle. I kind of want that to be able to go with, excuse me, go with it. Uh, so yeah, let me get this on there. Finish welding her up. Hopefully it's still in view. Something paint is burning. I smell it. Something's burning. Hopefully it's not the camera. It's probably all this shit ass electrical tape on this thing.
still too warm. That's okay. It keeps in it. There it is. There's nothing like taking a good piece here and just fucking it up right at the end. All right, I'm gonna get this mocked up on here and uh, I gotta let it cool off for a little bit and then uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> Woo! All right, guys, so fast forward a uh, day, couple days. I, uh, I ended up making that thermostat housing. It turned out really, the first, let me, the first one turned out really good, um, but I had a little bit of a problem with the way it fit, uh, just because I was an idiot. And uh, so I ended up making another one. So this is reversion, reversion, version two, whatever. Uh, it's a little bit longer, longer than I wanted it to be. And, uh, I don't have a cap for it right now. The welds on this one didn't turn out nearly as good as the other one, which sucks, but uh, you know, it is what it is at this point. Uh, it just, it needs to work. It, uh, you see good welds back there. For uh, some reason I fucked up up here. Um, it's whatever. But as you can see, uh, I still gotta tighten it down and put the thermostat in it and stuff like that, put a gasket in it, but I just wanted to bolt it up to show you guys anyway because I got to put a cap on this one again and the reason why I made it so much longer also uh, well I originally intended on and I didn't take this into consideration the length of this fitting uh, that's why I had it end right here if I could redo it make sure that's in camera I would end put the fitting here probably that way the end of the fitting was here and all I wanted to do was streamline it, make it look nice and tight next to this one. But, uh, like I said, it is what it is. I already used one fitting on the other one that I destroyed. And then I used a fitting on this one and I couldn't, uh, I can't just keep throwing away $10, $15 fittings like that. Um, so, uh, with that, I'm going to start plumbing, uh, the radiator. I still have to finish this, so it's not going to, not going to get water in it yet or anything. Um. But I got to finish plumbing the radiator. I got this header uh, completely done. It turned out really, actually, I don't even know if that's going to be in focus. Uh, this, that's just a stainless V-band on mild steel uh, collector. Um, I got my oil filter relocation mocked up. I still got to, I think I'm going to cut these down or uh, try to zip tie them together. And I'll probably end up putting like a heat sleeve over them. Uh, just to keep it from the from the header melting them and stuff like that uh, and then other than that I gotta mount my alternator here that should be pretty easy there should be well there is a lot of room right here for an alternator and I think I can par probably put it up over in this area uh, if I wanted to I just uh, I'm swapping from the 3G alternator whatever it is to a one wire uh, just to kind of make things easier to wire up and my old one, uh, it kind of sucked, and I'm pretty sure the bearings on it were starting to go out because I didn't have a, well, the old alternator was basically fucked. Um, so other than that, I swapped this fitting over on this side like I uh, told you guys. I got to order some more piping so I can finish that side of the uh, exhaust. And uh, I got to start wiring it up and stuff. I got MJ's thermostat housing made. Turn out a little bit better than mine. Uh, it's always the way it goes. It turns out always better on other people's cars, but it turns out like shit on mine. <laughs> but uh, that's where his is gonna go like that. Except he is gonna have a uh, you know normal radiator in his. So I got these fittings welded on. That turned out okay, I guess too. Um, I welded a fitting on his pump down there, so all this is gonna have AM lines and stuff like that. And it should look pretty good. Um, got his got his catch can mounted up. He got over here uh, earlier this week and painted all this stuff. I kind of like the way he did it uh, with painting the front of this too. I think it looks pretty cool. I think 
It would be cool if there was some type of silver pinstripe down here. Uh, just to kind of, you know, give that a good separate line. But it's turning out really well. Shit's starting to come together. Um, I am currently... Oh, for you truck guys, I am... <laughs> I am going to put my truck back together, uh, for those of you that wonder, I don't know when I'm going to do it, I got all my shit sandblasted, it's ready to go, I have the bearings and stuff, uh, it's just been shitty and cold out, so I haven't really found a reason to put it together yet, um, but I'm starting to run out of space more and more, and uh, so all this hopefully is going to go into the truck here pretty soon, or at least into the motor so I can get this shit out of the way. And other than that, this is a little surprise I told you guys about. And uh, I'm getting this welded on so I can start doing the final assembly on all this stuff. Uh, I got all these bars painted. This I didn't paint in the center area yet. Uh, I just gotta, gotta touch that up. And then when that's done, I can uh, get my fuel pump mounted and start plumbing the car. And uh, get all final assembly going and shit like that. And it's... Uh, it's coming together pretty soon. I'm hoping to have these done by March. Um, and if I get them done by March, that'd be pretty cool. We might go to two, uh, TX2K. I don't know for sure yet though. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want my car to be done March 1st. And then I have like a week to test it and make sure everything's good before I, uh, you know, before I go down there and try to race it and go 160 or whatever in it. So, uh, there's still a lot left to do, but they're coming together real quick. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update uh, to show you guys how it turned out. Um, and when I get to it, I'll probably show you guys how it's going to work and how everything's going to go. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this little bit of fab work. I'm going to get started on some other stuff today. I don't know how much more I'm going to film, but I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick little update and show you guys what the heck I've been doing. So stick around. See you next time.